Hi, it's Hunter's Ridge Apiary again. Another type of nucleus box you might see is this style. It has the same height from there to there, and then it has a very sturdy board nailed on the bottom, closed on the bottom. This is the entrance for the bees. Uh, this is a queen excluder. Queen excluder and a drone excluder, I believe this fat one is. And this is just a screen for ventilation. And you can adjust this and tighten it down. The rear has ventilation holes in it. This slope downward so the rain doesn't go in. And there's screen over them on the inside. And this is uh, typically what you might use for a shipping box. Say I drive to Indiana and pick up a hive. Typically it's a five frame hive. There's just five little frames in here. But it's an operating hive. There's a queen in here that's laying in here. And there's a bit of honey in here that the bees have brought in already. It's a going hive. Uh, and it's usually covered with a flat board exactly this size. I got this in the mail through the mail about 15, 20 years ago. It came as a hive through the mail. Uh, and you can still ship them that way. Uh, bees aren't usually shipped as nukes anymore, but people do pick them up that way. And that's the way I sell them. There's a going hive already. You would take this back and put it in a big box. Put these five frames in a big box, let the hive grow into it. But this is a shipping type. I have some that I've nailed the bottom on just so that I don't have to worry about moving it so much. I can just pick it up and go if I need to without the bottom falling off. And the, the cover that's the exact same size as this is called a migratory cover. When they're the same size, you can stack them next to each other. You might see migratories on the big boxes too that are exactly the same size as the box because they slide together on a truck. That's how they move them to the big uh, orchards where they use them a lot. Uh, keep in mind that some of these next items I show you are for growing bees, not for making honey. When we have a small, young hive, young queen, we want them to grow. So we put a box on top and we fill it up with sugar water for them to eat. They just run up, eat, go around, right back, up and down, up and down. They only have to fly. They just go up and down, eat, and make more bees. I'll show you how the feeder box works. And this same piece of meat is made in a 10 frame size. And I don't have any, but other people use 8 frames, also because of the weight. This is one of the first feeders I built, it's a little rough, but it's the same size as a nuke and it fits on top. It's just a box. Uh, it has a bottom to it. Inside, there's a two blocks down here and then a, a block that goes clear across. And then some more blocks that go around the side here that are used to nail this board on. This is quarter inch plywood. And then if you can see it, there's a little channel that goes right through there. And that's what the bees use. The bees, with that channel, get in the screen channel, walk down here, and this is full of syrup. And they walk down the screen to the top of the syrup and drink. That's a, that's a no drown feeder. The bees can't get in the syrup and drown, they have to stay on the screen. So they can walk back out. We use these in the spring and the summer, and sometimes in the fall. You know, they're for growing bees, basically. Uh, it's not good for making honey because this is sugar water. You don't want honey made out of sugar water. It's sugar syrup. It's not good. Bees love it, but it's not good to eat. It's like eating Cairo syrup. But it grows lots and lots of bees. That's the whole point of a feeder. And, of course, you take this feeder, you set it on top of a hive, Put a lid on it, and every few days you come here and fill a little tray up. That's how feeders work. 